Okay, now uh, we're going to work with the validation display method. So copy the name of the method. Let's scroll right to the bottom. And after password validation, we uh, type comma, name of our new method function, which will take one parameter validation. Okay, and now what we do, if validation does not equal blank, then we go for jQuery dot each loop and we go for our validation array function k for key v uh, for value and then we go v equals span class concatenated with object validation dot class warning which is basically going to be warning then single double quote closing opening span single quote uh, actually we might fit it in so a uh, plus v plus closing span tag semicolon and uh, so single quote and semicolon v obviously is the value which is associated with this because this validation which will be returned uh, from this uh, uh, post call which we we doing basically uh, by calling the validate.php file we return a key value uh, uh, per array. So we have index and the validation message, basically. Okay, so this is our uh, validation message. So next thing will be object validation dot form object dot find, and we need to find this class, so plus k, and now prepend the value, so the validation message. So as far as I, as far as I remember, that's everything in this file. So we can now close our core.js. I'm actually, actually we can leave it open because one, when we're gonna be working on our validation.php file, we may be going back in order to show you actually what is happening when we are creating specific um, specific uh, events inside of our validate.php file. So let's keep it open uh, as we may be going back to this file just to illustrate what's happening when we return what. Let's move to the next video and uh, we're going to have a look at our validate.php file.